Hello everybody, it's SD Mad Haven here today, and we're going to be taking a look at the Object 268 version 5. We're also going to be playing it live as I am recording. But before we do that, first things first, let's go ahead and jump right into the tab here. So, top speed of 48. <laughs> Sings fast. <laughs> now, there is one thing different from console. This is just something that I'm going to be throwing out. On console, we have 850 damage rather than the 750 that PC has. The reload rate, I'm not 100% sure on what our base reload is. Just because console differs from the way the PC is. But penetration values stay the same. Uh, gun dispersion possibly has some differences. But with the way the crews are put together right now, you can get this gun down to a .28 gun dispersion. Which makes it almost as accurate as a super cock or basically every single British in the game. Now, your AP rounds have got 303 pin. Your heat rounds have a total of 395. Keep in mind, heat rounds do not readjust on impact. They try going through the armor in the thickest. Like, just, they don't readjust at all. AP rounds readjust by 5 degrees on impact. APCR readjust by 2 degrees on impact. Heat rounds will just try to go straight through the armor and not readjust at all. But heat rounds on auto ricochet positions, if... The heat round has enough pin, it will just rip right through it. Now, the 3D model for this tank, this is something that we're going to be jumping into. The top plate here is 50. Then behind that, you have 30. 30 millimeters means that you're, you are going to get overmatched by 90 millimeters and larger. Just complete overmatch. If they hit the top roof at all, they're just going to rip right through it. You know, guaranteed penetration every single time. Now, your hatch, well, I mean, look at this sucker. It's huge. You know, gigantic. Your frontal armor on this, you do have a pike nose. Uh, there's going to be a lot of angles that, you know, this, this is versing the 303 pin that this has. So a lot of the green you see is just because 303 armor pin. Like, if we were low to the heat, yeah, as you see, it changes completely. The heat rounds on this with the fully rotating turret, 5 degrees of gun depression... Uh, 15 degrees of elevation, and then there's a spot on the back that it likes to get stuck on. And running around a console, it does do this on console as well, so we can go ahead and go back to visual. I do not know what it's getting stuck on. Could be the log, and then the fuel canister is right on the rear. That's preventing it from doing it, because once you get around, it goes right below the fuel canister. So it could be avoiding the canisters and the log. So just know, if you're aiming behind you, you are going to lose a lot of gun depression, 3.5. But around the front, it's going to hold out pretty well. Now, the side armor on this, as we go back to live, is only 50 millimeters, which means 152 and larger caliber guns are just going to overmatch your side armor. But against 120s or anything under 150 millimeters on the uh, caliber of the weapon, uh, it has a chance to auto ricochet. So even at this angle right here, getting fired into it, as you see, 100% chance. If this was 50 point, let's say 8, it'd be an auto ricochet because the value of the armor on the side is greater than the caliber of the gun at 152. So taking a look at the rear armor here, we have a total of 16 high explosives are going to be able to rip right through that along with 40 millimeters as well. Little track piece right there in the rear. A little bit of extra space protection against high explosives if the light tank gets up behind you, but doesn't mean it's going to really hold out too well. Overall, the armor on this is, it can hold up if it needs to hold up, but it is lacking in a couple of ways. So the 230 in the front, as we can see right here, we're looking at 245 down in the lower part, 230 in some areas, 220 in some spots, which means you probably don't even need the load armor piercing rounds or you know, gold, to honestly go through this thing. Now, let's go ahead and take this into a couple of matches and just see how it performs here on console. So, starting off, I'm running with Advanced Repair System. Oh, wait a minute, that's not what I'm running with. I'm running with Advanced Loader. Uh, and along with that, Improved Ventilation and advanced reload advanced reload is probably one of the most overpowered pieces of equipment i've ever seen inside this game it's pretty up there it it's pretty gnarly well let's see what we can do 
Melanovka for the first match. This is going to turn out pretty well. So right off the bat, we're looking at an E100. Looks like a Super Conch that's grayed out. T1105. All right, so not a lot of heavy armor that we're going up against, but they're... Ooh, Waffle. Yagaru. Ugh. Death Star. 2.6a version 5. Lots of TDs. All right. And another thing, your AP and your heat all had the same travel speed at 760 meters a second. They are not fast at all. They are pretty slow rounds. So whenever you're trying to lead a shot, you got to make sure that you're leading that shot. Now, I could try and get the best replays that I possibly can and then just review over them. I do have one on right now that I can go over. But for me, I think playing live right now, you now just to give my impression of the vehicle, you know, be able to look at it and be like, hey, look, stars, Statue of Liberty. Another thing that this thing is lacking heavily in is view range. 360 base view range is not a lot. And since they took away our capabilities, of running with binoculars. This vehicle is lacking extremely whenever it comes down the view range. So, you know, if you're using this, you're going to try and be a scout. Be careful, because it will not want to agree with you. And right off the bat, we've already been hit by artillery once. I would love to be able to get a shot in this uh, T100 LT. Or even if we can try to clip the very small part of the waffle that we missed. Alrighty, so artillery, we got a 261 and an FV3805. Now, as I am cruising around, I already feel that thing locking onto me. And out in the distance there, we're taking a look at a 268 version 5. And you can see how slow the shells are traveling. They are absolutely beyond slow. Premium consumables now. These things are just ridiculous with what they're offering. And right there, overmatched the side armor. And that was, holy crap, talk about a low roll. 465. Oh, that explains a lot. I was running with high explosives still. Well, hey, at least they landed. And took him down with an AP. High explosive shells inside this as well. These are probably some of my favorite high explosives, to be honest with you. I mean, look at that. 1,100. I didn't see the last couple digits, but you know what? We just went through the side armor on that... Uh, Death Star. These things are just insane with their 90 millimeters of armor pin. And here comes the light tank again. Fingers crossed that we can land this. Ugh. Alright, fingers aren't crossed anymore. So, we're out of high explosives. You know, and so far, <laughs> pretty much just firing nothing but high explosives. And already up to 2,000 damage. I don't recommend firing nothing but high explosives out of this. Unless you want to. You know. <laughs> don't get me wrong. It could be fun. And that T100LT. He's got some view range on him and some concealment. So taking him out of the match as fast as we can is going to be probably our best bet. Which, it would be nice to know if DJX Hunters was the T100LT, because it's not like we're paying attention to the names, we're paying attention to what the tanks are. I'm still waiting on them to update that. That is an update that I'm excited for. I'd rather see the tanks that die rather than the players that die. But so far, the 268 version 5, this has got to be probably one of the most solid tank destroyers I've ever played in. Um, unless you're talking about, let's say, the T-1104, which would be the best comparison to this. But the T-1104, with how insane the rounds are in that thing, those rounds are insane on the OE-4. 
with their 1400 meters a second travel speed. They are intense. Now, oh, look at that. All right, time for us to back off. This 263 might come around to hit us, but we're going to load in a premium just in case. Okay, 263 has been knocked out. And reusable repair kits and med kits and then the consumables, everything being reusable, these are honestly game-changing, like super game-changing. Being able to repair an ammo rack that happened, let's say, at the very beginning of the match, and then being able to repair a minute later, the difference is just gigantic. There's almost no comparison to it. So that is a step in the right direction, and I absolutely love that they introduced it. So right there, we swap back over to the AP round because heat rounds, if you are shooting at an obstacle between you and the target, heat rounds, let's say if we were to hit the base little uh, supply cache right there, heat rounds will stop directly on impact. They will not continue on. They lose all force and momentum. AP rounds will go through that and continue on until they hit the target. Eight hundred and ninety-two. Some really nice looking high rolls. And I don't know where the Fosh is. Yep, found the Fosh. Just gonna be evil, putting in premium. Well, 26A version 5. And we didn't even make it into the top 3 XP earners. And keep in mind, this will happen a lot inside this tank, just because your view range is almost non-existent at 360. I'm not running anything to boost it. I'm running everything to boost my crew to get them to the best that they can for, let's say, gun handling, reload, and repair time. So let's say I'm shooting a target that's outside my view range. I'm only going to get 50% of the experience earned. And whoever's getting the spot assist will get the other 50%. Or a total of 100% for them, 50% for me. So let's say that OE5 on the left was scouting everybody out, and the super conk on the right was scouting everybody out, and they were getting all the assist damage off me. So, you know, I, I only get half the uh, total experience, which did put me in third place for who didn't die. And I have been noticing this as well. From sixth position to first, they were all alive at the end of the match. From seventh and down, they all died. So I do believe that, you know, a lot of us were questioning this a little while back. Um, seventh place, that super conk, died which means he was the top experience earner who died so that's his position right there going all the way down so we actually took fourth place in this match and if we would have had the view range to help us with scouting out our own targets we probably would have easily taken first with upon experience with the 5047 damage that we did so yeah you know so far solid tank totally worth the 100 reward not just that PC doesn't even have access to this tank yet. It is only on console right now. Console and the Chinese servers are the only ones that have access to this tank. And I'll tell you now, I got a couple of buddies who play PC who are right now jealous that I get to play this. So, makes me a little bit happy. Now, would I recommend you uh, go out and try to pay for this tank? No. It's the tier 100 reward. Get out there, grind it, get your hands on it. It is a really good tank. And I'm expecting that they're probably going to be slapping the power to weight that this thing has whenever they uh, get back from their little break. So other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. If you like this uh, gameplay that I showed off, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Or just, you know, I'm looking to get a conversation going on inside the chat. So hit it up. Uh, other than that, I am trying my best to get out videos, not slack off. I'm recording this on Christmas Day. Should be posted the next day. I hope it gets posted the next day. I'm going to try the schedule system, see if it works. And then, if it does, I'm just going to start slapping out videos. Like, not live. Try and get recorded ones. 
who knows, I'll even post some really good matches and just commentate over them. So <laughs> until then, you guys have a great time. And also, if the giveaway hasn't happened yet on Noodles stream, I highly recommend you get on there. I'm holding up a Ragnarok and a Hydra. His link will be in the description. So hope to see you guys there. Have a good night, good day, good morning, whatever time you're catching this. I'm out of here.